नमस्ते टू एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माई यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल टूडे आई विल डेली वार लेक्चर ऑन एनालिटिकल डिनेमिक्स और क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स चैप्टर वेरिएशनल प्रिंसिपल इन डिनेमिक्स लेक्चर नंबर टू इन हुईच आई विल स्टेट एंड प्रूव एंड I will give the details concept of the principle of least action. Now, I will describe about the principle of least action. This is more general type of variation of the path of a system which allows the time of travel to vary. Also, it allows. the position coordinates to vary in the paths except at end points that is at the end points of the path the position coordinate are held fixed but changes at the points except end points of the paths in this variation the hamiltonian edge along every paths remains constant such a variation is denoted by this delta triangular delta is upper case of delta and this delta del is the lower case of delta in mechanics the quantity a equal to integration limit t1 to t2 sigma i pi qi dot dt is defined as action now we state the principle of least action the principle of least action for a conservative system is expressed as delta integration this equal to zero that is delta a equal to zero here for delta variation we obey the following postulates number 1 at end points of the path the position coordinates are held fixed number 2 the hamiltonian edge is conserved along every path number 3 at end points time may be different for every path that is the time of travel along different paths may be different here in figure 1 we see that the dynamical system moves from point a to b in two paths a m b and a n b here for this delta variation lower case delta variation we have already seen that at the end points a and b the coordinates are held fixed also time b also fixed here time t equal to t1 here time equal to t2 for every path that is total travel time remains fixed but in upper case delta variation that is triangular variation we see that coordinates of the initial point of both paths b q1 and coordinates of the end points of both paths b q2 that is position coordinates at end points are held fixed time this is the time axis here we see that initial time of both paths are not same also the time at end points also are not same so 
the basic difference between this lower case delta variation and upper case delta variation is that the total travel time be different for different paths with the condition that the coordinates of the end points remain fixed in lower case delta variation we have seen that total travel time for both paths be same in this case the energy may conserved or may not be conserved but upper case delta variation the energy must be conserved since in conservative system hamiltonian function is the total energy and it remains conserved now we prove the principle of least action let h be the hamiltonian function function therefore h equal to minus l lagrangian function plus sigma i p i q i dot l be the lagrangian function implies that sigma i p i q i dot equal to l plus h this is number 1 let a equal to action therefore a equal to integration limit t1 to t2 time sigma i p i q i dot dt equal to integration limit t1 to t2 this is l plus h dt this is equal to integration limit t1 to t2 l dt plus integration limit t1 to t2 h dt this is equal to integration limit t1 to t2 l dt plus since h is conserved that is h is constant we may take it outside of the integration limit t1 to t2 integration dt since h equal to constant this equal to integration limit t1 to t2 l dt plus h this is integration of dt is t that is this is t2 minus t1 let this is number 2 implies that delta a equal to delta integration limit t1 to t2 l dt plus h is constant so this is h delta t2 minus t1 this is equal to delta limit t1 to t2 l dt plus h this is delta t t1 to t2 this is number 3 since in delta variation this delta is upper case delta 
we consider the variation of total time of travel therefore the coordinates qi will be function of a parameter alpha and time t that is qi is the function of alpha t now delta qi equal to d alpha multiply d q i q i is the function of alpha and t by d alpha we define this as d alpha q i is the function of alpha and t so we write this partial derivative of q i with respect to alpha d alpha by d alpha plus partial derivative of q i with respect to t dt by d alpha this is equal to d alpha partial derivative of q i with respect to alpha this is 1 plus this is derivative of q i with respect to t we write this as q i dot d t by d alpha implies that delta q i equal to partial derivative of q i with respect to alpha d alpha plus q i dot d alpha multiply d t by d alpha and this will be equal to lowercase delta delta q i here time is not changed here q i dot and we may write this similar to here delta t in place of q i we have t this is number 4 implies that delta q i uppercase delta variation equal to lowercase delta variation of q i plus delta t d by dt q i implies that delta equal to delta uppercase delta this is lowercase delta plus uppercase delta t and here d by dt this is the relation be between operators uppercase delta variation and lowercase delta variation let integration l dt equal to i implies that i dot derivative of i with respect to t is l this is number 6 now delta integration t1 to t2 l dt equal to since integration l dt equal to i 
here delta we have delta so we may write this delta i t2 minus delta i t1 and we may write this delta variation is a delta i2 t2 plus plus here qi dot means here this i dot i dot means l we write here i dot firstly and delta t2 minus we write delta i t1 plus i dot delta t1 implies that delta integration limit t1 to t2 l dt equal to delta i t2 plus i dot this i dot equal to l delta t2 minus delta i t1 minus i dot equal to l delta t1 using 6 this equal to from this and this we get delta i t1 to t2 plus this is l delta t t1 to t2 we may write this this delta lowercase delta i means integration l dt limit t1 to t2 plus l delta t t1 to t2 this is number 7 using 7 in theory we get delta A equal to this is delta integration limit T1 to T2 L dt plus L delta T T1 to T2 plus H delta T T1 to T2 this is number 8 now delta T1 to T2 this is the lowercase delta L dt this is not equal to 0 because the total travel time is different for different paths and delta qi not equal to 0 at end points rather delta qi equal to 0 because here
here we have assumed that total travel time is different that is time at initial point and final point also vary at the same time this lower case delta variation in lower case delta variation here we have not assumed that the coordinates of the in points are fixed we have assumed the coordinates of the in points are fixed in case of this upper case delta variation so firstly we calculate this part now lower case delta integration t1 to t2 ldt equal to integration t1 to t2 limit delta l dt and this will be equal to integration limit t1 to t2 this is partial derivative of l with respect to qi delta qi i plus sigma partial derivative of l with respect to qi dot delta qi dot this is dt this is equal to integration limit t1 to t2 sigma i this is equal to d by dt partial derivative of l with respect to qi dot by using lagrange's equation and this is delta qi plus here sigma i partial derivative of l with respect to qi dot this is d by dt delta qi here qi dot means dq by dt and we commute this delta and d by dt and here dt by using lagrange's equation since in lagrange's equation we know d by dt partial derivative of l with respect to qi dot minus partial derivative of l with respect to qi equal to 0 and then this part equal to this part here we have used this concept and we get this equal to integration limit t1 to t2 here sigma i we may take this as a single term d by dt partial derivative of l with respect to q i dot delta q i dt because firstly we differentiate this term and we get this and this remains constant and secondly we take constant this term first term and differentiation of the second with respect to t we get this let this is number 9 from 4 we have
डेल्टा क्यू आई अपर केस डेल्टा इक्वल टू लोअर केस डेल्टा क्यू आई प्लस क्यू आई डॉट अपर केस डेल्टा टी इम्प्लाइज दैट डेल्टा लोअर केस डेल्टा क्यू आई इक्वल टू अपर केस डेल्टा क्यू आई माइनस क्यू आई डॉट अपर केस डेल्टा टी लेट दिस इज नंबर टेन यूजिंग टेन इन नाइन वी गेट लेफ्ट साइड इज लोअर केस delta integration limit t1 to t2 al dt equal to integration limit t1 to t2 sigma i d by dt partial derivative of l with respect to q i and this lower case delta q i equal to this upper case delta q i minus q i dot upper case delta t and this dt we may take sigma outside sigma i integration t limit t1 to t2 here d by dt partial derivative of l with respect to q i dot delta q i dt minus integration limit t1 to t2 here d by dt partial derivative of l with respect to q i dot q i dot delta t and dt this is equal to this equal to sigma i here integration is partial derivative of l with respect to q i dot upper case delta q i here t1 to t2 minus sigma i integration of this is partial derivative of l with respect to q i dot q i dot delta t here limit t1 to t2 implies that delta lower case delta integration limit t1 to t2 l dt equal to this part is zero because at in points the variation of coordinates is zero minus sigma i this is p i p i q i dot delta t t1 to t2 since at in points delta q i equal to 0 and partial derivative of l with respect to q i dot 
इक्वल टू पी आई एंड दिस विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस दिस इज एल प्लस एच डेल्टा टी टी वन टू टी टू लिमिट माइनस एल प्लस एच डेल्टा टी टी वन टू टी टू दिस इज इक्वल टू माइनस एल डेल्टा टी टी वन टू टी टू माइनस एच डेल्टा टी टी वन टू टी टू दिस इज नंबर इलेवन यूजिंग इलेवन इन एट वी गेट delta a equal to value of this is this minus l delta t t1 to t2 minus h delta t t1 to t2 plus l delta t t1 to t2 प्लस एच डेल्टा टी टी वन टू टी टू एंड दिस इक्वल टू जीरो इम्प्लाइज दैट अपर केस डेल्टा ए ए इज इंट्रीगेशन लिमिट टी वन टू टी टू पी आई क्यू आई डॉट सिग्मा आई डी टी इक्वल टू जीरो प्रूफ थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग माय वीडियो इफ यू आर सेटिस्फाइड विथ माय प्रेजेंटेशन एंड कंटेंट्स देन प्लीज क्लिक ऑन लाइक बटन एंड डू सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल थैंक यू